I'm Dina Steele, founder of Keys to Kelowna. We're a bespoke hospitality brand and we operate limited edition luxury rentals in the Okanagan Valley. What was the last great thing that you ate in Kelowna today? The last great thing I ate? Not today. Yeah, the last great thing I ate, I'm really lucky where Ryan makes me a gluten-free apple pie like every three days using um, the Honeycrisp, organic Honeycrisp from Bite Me Organics our favorite and then we use um top it with vanilla ice cream from parlor so it's homemade but it's definitely the best thing and the highlight of every night <laughs> where did you get those groceries to make the pie well the honey crisps come from bite me organics um the gluten-free crust from nature's fair it's so organic gluten-free and uh and then the parlor ice cream of course from downtown so where do you like to go on Friday? Friday night, well, I love to walk through neighborhoods in the evenings. I absolutely love when people leave their blinds open and their interiors are lit. I'm so grateful for that. When people close their blinds, I'm like, let me see. So that's one thing, I'm, an, I'm a daytime bird, so I like to go to bed at like nine. So usually Friday night is like a nice evening walk, um, nothing crazy. But if I were to go out, I do love to go to Rod's and sit at the bar and just kind of, connect with mostly the employees there. Like I love the staff at, at a lot of our restaurants. So it's, it's a nice little community to reconnect with. The best dish in Kelowna, in my opinion, is at Mama Rosa's. It's the pesto lasagna. It's amazing. We both get the same thing when we go for dinner. We only have that there. We order it usually for our birthdays, sometimes um, like Christmas. It's amazing. Fresh pasta, it's family run. It's such a quaint little space. When you've got time or you're just frazzled and you need to get away from it all, where in the valley do you try and like sneak out and away to? Escape to. Um, there's two places I like to go. So actually it's Mission Ridge Park and it's just a very mild walk. I usually start at the base of Woodland Hills Estates, which is on West Point Drive, and I walk through the neighborhood because there's a cluster of five homes that I really love there. It's super, I love those homes. And then I veer off onto the path to Mission Ridge Park, and it's a nice over, it overlooks like the lower mission. Uh, there's a beautiful little bench at the top, and it's almost like you're on a sand dune Oh, it's so I love it. It's just it feels a little bit different. And um, it's a really small little park. And normally you just see the residents walking their dogs through, but it's just super peaceful and lake views, obviously valley views, and it's close by. And then another adventure um, to get away. I like to go to Knox because it's kind of like a create your own adventure. And Knox Mountain, I feel like we are so blessed to have a provincial park right in the center of the city. That's something that I think is so important. And you can do two kilometers, you can do 13 kilometers. So how I like to do it is I go up to the first um, hill at the top of the dog park and then I veer off onto Royal View Drive and then onto Churchill Road and I take the fire lane bypass up through High Point. Because I, again, I love walking through neighborhoods. So I go through High Point and then back onto Knox Mountain through that. So again, you can create your own adventure on Knox Mountain. So that's where I like to go. So if you're going for a coffee or you want to go have a glass of wine, something like that, where would you do that? A tea, a coffee? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, right now I'm really loving analog because I love the energy and the vibe on Sunset Drive. So it's a new coffee shop in Kelowna and um, it's almost got that Balinese modern, like trendy coffee vibe inside. Um, but usually what I do is I grab a coffee and I do a walk. I never usually sit down during meetings. So I like to do like a walk and talk. Um, so that's what I like to do. <laughs> cool. So what area does Keys to Kelowna cover? So we operate in West Kelowna, Kelowna, and Lake Country. Nice. How do you see the future of Airbnb properties in Kelowna? Mm-hmm. 
I think the future of vacation rentals in Kelowna is bright. Things like VRBOs and Airbnbs allow investors a ton of um, diversity. So if somebody is looking to hold a property for the next decade, uh, we can help them with positive cash flow, which is really nice, especially in a market that ebbs and flows like it's, it is. It gives you a lot of room. We have a lot of investors who like to use the properties occasionally. So we work with remote Canadian investors. Uh, we help people who have properties that are sitting vacant or underutilized to offering them as vacation rentals. We work with a lot of investors who come in with the intent to purchase and hold. So we give them the opportunity to um, create some cash flow in the meantime. Working in the hospitality space and in vacation rentals and real estate, it can be very challenging. So I always try and make sure that we keep everything very positive. We focus on a lot of limited edition properties and I have a maniacal uh, attention eye for detail. So that's, those are the, the kind of principles that we work with here in the company. And um, I just wanna make sure that all of our investors understand what they're getting into and we don't necessarily need to hold their hand on the way because they are very uh, experienced investors. But again, because things are challenging, we just like to keep things really positive for them. Kelowna is rich in world-class amenities. We have a lake that spans between three cities. We have amazing wineries and golf courses. The outdoor amenities are phenomenal, but we just don't have any world-class accommodations to offer anyone when they're staying here in the area. And so that is something we're really focused on creating those ultra luxury limited edition properties to attract you know VIPs and influential people because I think that only will help put Kelowna on the map by spreading the word. Yeah. Do you ever get on the lake? I well I live on the lake. Yeah. I don't <laughs> swim in it cuz it's too cold. <laughs> um, I enjoy paddleboarding. Um, I, we have a canoe that sometimes we throw in the water. And so I will, um, sit in the back while my partner paddles us <laughs> along the lake <laughs> or sit in the front. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite winery that you like to visit? I love referring guests to Cedar Creek. I love dinner at home block. I love the effort and attention to detail that they put in that space. It, I feel like I've been transported and it's something that Kelowna needed. So I love sending people there. Um, I actually had a really amazing dish, lion's mane um, entree up there. It was so good, I, I have not stopped thinking about it. <laughs> so I like to refer people there. And um, where else do I like to send people? I love the Naramata bench. I love sending guests to Naramata bench because it's so concentrated and there's a lot of variety for kind of the boutique wineries, a little bit more rustic, some of the higher end. So that's where I like to send people. Where do you like to grocery shop? I love going to the farmer's market in the summer. I recommend it to all my guests. I call it my church, um, huge community there. You can find, obviously we're in an agriculturally rich um, area, but also the foraged foods that you can find there are really amazing. Um, so that's where I like to go. I don't go, I don't make it every week cause it can be a little bit hectic in there, but it's one of my favorite places to, to go.